everyone look in the center just one sec one sec one sec slowly in the center please So just a three of you all and Venkat sir in power. Ladies and gentlemen, now this is where the heart is to go dug, 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 dug first. So I'd like to call uh, Murli sir on stage. Sanat sir will join us in five minutes. He's actually gone for a live telecast. So he'll come in five minutes. And we'd like to call the master. For all of us, he's just the greatest of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, Sachin sir and Murli sir on stage. Big round of applause. Photograph in a bit, yes. First of all, thank you very much. Thanks for <laughs> the Sachin sir, how do you handle... So, I, I, everyone narrate a story, I also narrate a story. Thanks to this hosting for 10, 11 years, over a period of time I've been meeting, sir. Just every single time I get so excited when I see you. How do you handle all these people getting so excited from age of 5 to 75? How do you handle it even now? It's a blessing. Yeah. First of all, I'm, I'm here to wish my very, very dear friend Murli uh, all the very best because this, Thank this you. movie, this biopic, people need to know what happened in his life. I, I remember meeting him the first time in 1993. 93. That sounds 93, ages yeah. ago. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we continue to be good friends. Coincidentally, I was... I was in Sri Lanka just last month for UNICEF work and uh, I messaged Murli that I am in your beautiful city, where are you? He says, I am in India, what are you doing in Sri Lanka? <laughs> and that's how, that's how, you know, I am here. He spoke to me for the first time about his biopic and uh, he said, he, would, you, would you be able to come for the event? said any time for you. He is so humble, hai, itna simple, hai, in spite of achieving so much in life, it's impossible to refuse him. So <laughs> I said, I'm, I'm going to be there and that's the only reason I'm here. Wishing you all the best. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Murli, sir, you've always had this smile on your face. You've always been a smiling assassin. You know, the poor fellow is smiling at you and the wicket is out. But generally speaking, you know, your rivalry was legendary, of course. So you had the two gentlemen in that time that were... L Brian Lara sir and Sachin sir, the two, two greatest of all time. But you were like that common factor in the middle for everyone. It's almost like, you know, the world was always against you and you, you put on the TV at 9 o'clock in the morning for the test match, you're bowling. At 4 o'clock in the afternoon, you're still bowling. Even if the rain has gone, you're bowling in the nets. So first, before I ask anything, how were you this machine who was able to bowl forever and ever and keep bowling all these overs? How? Before, first of all, yes. thank you very much uh, because coming for me and supporting me and also, you know, because I, I am also a fan of him, more than a, a colleague and a friend and uh, more than a fan of him because, um, you know, that what he has done in cricket, nobody could do. 
because it is impossible to generate even another hundred years nobody can come like him because it's it's, it's a fact because I'm not because of saying my friend because it's a fact because when someone get 15 years a first class hundred it's impossible in 16 years 17 years you're getting a test hundred it's also impossible so uh, you have shown the way of billions of people how to play cricket how to be humble like him and I've seen more cricketers, he's the most humble person in Indian cricket. Few words and uh, with the friends, he's, he's enjoys, but few words with everyone. So I think um, he's the best forever because in another Sachin Tendulkar won't be born in, 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 this, in this entire That's why they universe. call him the master. Until my life <laughs> finishes, right? So, that, so um, for your questions, uh, what you asking? I forgot so about. So forget you. it. <laughs> <laughs> but the question was very simple. Yes. You yourself, sir, are the greatest of all time from that side as well. You know, I, I have to say this. You know, we were always gunning for you when you were not playing against us. I hated you when you were playing against us. But otherwise, you just kept on and on. You were like a lone. Like how Sachin, sir, at one time was probably one of the only people. You know, if he got out, we switched off the TV. I'm sure with a lot of Sri Lankans across the world as well. If you were bowling and you know, if you had a bad day, they'd be really disappointed. You were carrying the shoulder, I mean, uh, you know, the entire Sri Lankan team on your shoulders for so long. Just talk about that experience as well also, because you're, in many ways you're very similar. So two things, uh, I know Sachin was carrying same way, of, it is harder because batsmen all have one chance. So one mistake, you're finished. Bowler can do many mistakes, so I have a better chance of succeeding than him. I'm, I'm still waiting for that juicy half fall. he has never bowled that to me. <laughs> so, so it was uh, difficult, but thing is, you know, because to carrying the whole team, because the reason was uh, Sri Lanka was uh, not a great side uh, when you when I started because then only it became slowly became because legends like Sanat and Sangha to Mayala to Arjuna Aravind all came that when, when we are playing Hawaii so that's why I think uh, at the time bowling wise because see I took a lot of wickets because I am bowling one side <laughs> because somebody has to yes, take sir, wickets yeah. right you are very other, very modest other, sir no, and Vas Vas and me yes, to yes. bowl because didn't have much in later later stage only the bowlers came yeah. so I had opportunities a lot of opportunities the pressure is high so that pressure because you if you enjoy the game uh, you don't think about the end result and you just want to just at the time at the person who am i bowling to on your day you might beat that person but some days that person will beat so you have to accept it so i think i accepted and always didn't get upset getting you know, wickets or not because keep a smile because i have to enjoy the game so i will advise any cricketer rather than thinking about performance just go and enjoy be be great the God because you are given the participation is more important than uh, having succeed so I think that's the way it is because I lived in 18 years in uh, 16 years in Aust 10 to 12 years in hostel so that was given me a thought that you have to be like you know sharing and be happy every time because there are a lot of problems you'll have but still you have to be happy so that's why it could that teach me to how to play cricket uh, in the latter part of it. So, what do you think made uh, Murli sir great? You know, when they say that there's something that is always there, you played against the greatest of you know, all of the bowlers. Uh, what made him so special even while you were playing? Because I remember for a long time, Murli sir used to only bowl the incoming delivery. Eventually, later on, you developed the other bits and we saw him that just with that one ball also, he used to keep on at it. So, what was so great about Murli sir as a bowler? See, just now the way he answered that earlier question, that if uh, an individual is not going to appreciate for what one is able to go out and do, how would the rest of the world appreciate? And that is what mental strength is all about. There are not going to be uh, good times every time you go out. There are going to be ups and downs. There are going to be disappointments. But from those disappointments, how do you rise back, get on your feet and start competing? Uh, that makes you a real sportsman and exactly that is what he possessed. He, like you said earlier that, you know, he just loved bowling. But the whole world knew that he had a big turn. I mean, you make him 
bowl on a express way he is going to turn the ball you know no matter how the surface is murli is going to turn the ball and uh, he did not rely only on that because just with that turn itself he was a dangerous bowler because they in our meetings we would discuss uh, hours on end how to tackle him what are the signals to pick all those things but he kept reinventing himself no and so the signals the, i want to the, ask you and you said in the, interview how you used to read on the hand uh, i'm still figuring out <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no I, i i will say no. see definitely uh, see uh, some players read i know he, he read me very well right uh, not many people can do but lara had success but he never read me also really yeah, yeah, yeah. because because <laughs> i don't know what what uh, mechanism he did uh, but um, he read me yes. and also few people i know i know uh, rahul dravid is <sighs> one of the greatest players yes he never read me really <laughs> i knew i knew that no. <laughs> I knew. so sachin always say him and shewag and uh, those players in gambhir are like the players some players read some players even lay sometimes they play on that so it's it's definitely definitely i am saying um, uh, he read me few people read me and even even in my team some people read and some people doesn't because some some are playing ways are different because uh, legend like him he watch from the seam of the ball from the hand itself some people doesn't they this of the pitch of the pitch yes and that's where he was yes so when like you said that very few few guys read him but in that also he wanted to develop more things you know and and uh, if i'm not mistaken he developed dusra in the late 90s yes much later yeah. yes and uh, the story that i heard through harbhajan yeah. was isne dusra dalna to bahut pehle sikha tha magar wo net mein practice kare ja raha tha so for 18 months he continued practicing dusra in the nets before he bowled the first ball in international cricket and that the reason the reason for that was that he should not lose his original strength the qualities that he possessed while continuing to bowl well in test cricket in that you continue also to develop new things introduce new things because you have to like i said you continue reinventing yourself like how bowler is reading batter's mind batters are also trying to figure out what the bowler is trying to do so the combination and to then plan this execute consistently outsmart batters is not easy and that is what we experience all the time <laughs> and a gentleman who probably didn't care about the pitch the overcast conditions he just had a bat in his hand and he used to go six balls four sixes only his name is sanaj jaisurya ladies and gentlemen can you please have him on stage for the man who is famous sir for your forearms and your grip <laughs> we must have that story also did you work specially on every time people saw you the way you hit the ball you know was was devastating so yes murli sir is here i know you are very happy about that but that story we have to know were you always working your forearm so you could smash the bowlers for some 200 meters no no i i never use <laughs> i no. can I, i can't play with a heavy bat like sachin my ah. bat is very light oh really yes so just a toothpick smashing 200 meters <laughs> 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 murli sir and you uh, in the most beautiful phase of sri lankan cricket you know you've known this film is is you you're all there you know and uh, what i love about how this film is also talked about is the entire time when i remember live cricket arjun arundunga put his uh, hand on your shoulder during the entire chucking controversy and the whole team came together as one you know that entire time and him i remember there was a very dejected murli sir walking on tv i remember watching that also and saying what's going on as a unit was that perhaps like an incredible family that entire sri lankan team that was dominating the world and fighting also and giving a statement those years tell us about that yeah i think that uh, that was the incident uh, uh, for us to make uh, to win the world cup in 1996 that incident because in australia we went through a really a bad time and murli went through a difficult time and we were all backing him including captain and as a team players we did much as what we can do 
And what we can do is after we came back to Sri Lanka, we went through a difficult time again. And the World Cup was started. There are some teams didn't turn up. India came with the Pakistan to show the world that Sri Lanka is safe. We are always thankful to India for doing that, to come to Sri Lanka. And because of that, we survive our cricket. So it's thank you every time. Our, our younger generation didn't know sometimes these things what happened in 1996. So when the other teams didn't come, they straight away came from our opening ceremony to Sri Lanka and play, uh, show the solidarity, solidarity with the Sri Lankans. So we're thankful to India all the time what you all did for Sri Lanka cricket. And great man is here with us um, uh, to inaugurate this uh, Murli's thing. And I'm very happy to be here and a great human being. And when you share the dressing room, very difficult. <laughs> I have to ask you this, other sir. <laughs> very, very difficult uh, dressing room. You can't get out. Again, when you get get out and come inside the dressing room, you'll have to put the earplugs. He and screams at you? Yeah, 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 yeah. No chance. Really? Like, no I, chance. angry scream. He, he don't want to lose a game. If somebody is batting well, if somebody is throwing a wicket, if somebody getting out, he will come and say all sort of things. <laughs> he will do everything. To how do you get out? You should not do this. You should do this. Uh, he is coaching. He will coach the whole thing the ma till the match finish. If you lose the match, you are finished. If somehow win the match, you are all right. Wow. <laughs> the smiling assassin, they say. <laughs> Sanat sir, one more la uh, question to you. Did you ever feel bad when you are hammering all the bowlers? Like that poor fellow, his career might be over after your over is over. I want to honestly ask, did you feel bad? <laughs> no, you don't. You don't feel bad. You just go and play your natural game all right. the time. Yeah. So that, that's all I do. Yeah. Sachin said, did you have a plan for him? What was the team, meet? team One team meeting for him. Then what about Kalwatarana and Sanat sir when they were batting? Was there a special meeting there? Hundred percent. I was just telling him that uh, you were discussing World Cup semi-finals and that is where we ended up discussing for an hour on him and uh, Kalu. First over out. And first over, both of them got out. Both of them got out. We thought we'd won. <laughs> yeah, they, I mean, never, they never got any plans for Arvind and Roshan Mahanam. <laughs> <laughs> Sanat, uh, Sanat uh, playing against him, I mean, I, I saw him, I saw him first time in uh, 1990 when he was here with uh, the Sri Lankan team. We played in Chandigarh. One test match, he unfortunately got injured and couldn't play that test match. But uh, other than that, like I said, uh, Sanat to have in our dressing room, there were a few exhibition games also we played other than IPL. It was nice to have him in our dressing room than the Sri Lankan dressing room. <laughs> Yes, you were very hated, sir, as much as you are loved. Yeah, batting ko bhi boxing glove pen ke aata tha baad. Okay, I'm going to play a. Uh, a little game with you in just before I uh, uh, one last question I ask you. Then I'm going to play a little game with you all, which is going to jog your memory as well. Uh, Murli sir, you know I think I uh, this is the other side we heard about you, which is in the dressing room side. But how you always maintained this you know happy uh, exterior because cricket also went through a huge change, you know, and you came back with a vengeance after this entire controversy and you took so many wickets that, you know, there was always Vaughan versus Murli, Vaughan versus Murli. Were these things in your head, were you thinking about these numbers and all? Because after a point of time, it was just the two of you. I think uh, Wasim Akram sir was far back. So it was just the two of you, you'd pass Walsh and you'd pass everybody. Did you all think about it? Because spinners getting these kind of wickets and, you know, uh, you all were dominating the world cricket at that time. Did you think about rivalries? No, because uh, it's a number only wickets, because it's enjoyment is winning the match and uh, you're winning for your country is the most enjoyable thing and uh, you want to do your part because it takes own cost because wickets will come and uh, see if you're playing daily and playing so you take wickets numbers will come so just add if you ask Sachin also same thing because he never thought he will get 18,000 or 16,000 when you start the, the yeah. game and the middle of the game but it's just piled up because it's just a it takes cost because you're enjoying the game you're just following what 
he wants to make India win, I wants to make Sri Lanka win, Shane also same. He wants to Australia to win matches and be happy, so it's numbers. And uh, don't forget about Anil also, uh, was there because yes. he was, no, you should not forget him because Never. he's also a great <laughs> bowler. He got 600 wickets, 660, it's not easy to do that. Yes. So, so we three were at the same era, same age, little bit uh, two, three years here and there. Because I always thought if I play more, I might end up in more wickets because that's the only case. Not because they are not talented or anything, they are a little bit older than me, three years. So that's what happened. Otherwise, anybody could achieve this. Uh, these these two people could have achieved the 800 also mm. if you keep on playing because they were great bowlers. When they are retiring also, uh, they were not uh, like you know light bowlers because they can keep on playing because. One stage you have yes. will come yes. in life, everyone thinks, okay, that's enough. <laughs> Day and door, you have to get up in the morning, do these things and everything. So that's what happened to me and I retired. So uh, I think uh, it's, a, it's a media and other people will cover. See, when Sachin and Brian, they will compare both of them, who, who gets, who's going to go everything. So it's a comparison by the interest of the public. Well, we enjoyed it. Yeah. We enjoyed the rivalry a lot. So I'm going to start a little rapid fire, which is going to be, yes, sir. Do you know one point? I mean, yeah. he said that, you know, he, he's bowled for so many years. But does anyone know how many overs he's bowled in international cricket? Yes. He's bowled ten and a half thousand overs. That's <laughs> In international cricket. Uh, 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 no, sir, if international cricket, may, but also first class cricket, add another at least ten thousand overs. Jesus. And before that, maybe another fifteen, twenty thousand overs. And no shoulder now. injury. So, no, I had, I had only one. <laughs> Out so, of ninety overs, such in. He bowled in a test match 35 overs. Against you all. <laughs> no, no, no. On his own. The, the captain, captain, he by force, he's getting the ball. <laughs> I can remember. No, nine, 1993, India is left and light hammering us. Because uh, test matches, I can remember. Yes, yes. Everyone is getting hundreds and hundreds. Uh, so in Bangalore, I can remember we played only one fast bowler. He opened the bowling. <laughs> so, so, so because we thought uh, they were India was strong with three spinners at the time: Rahul Venkatesh, Raju, and uh, Anil, Anil and uh, Chauhan. Cha yes, Rajesh, Rajesh Chauhan, Chauhan, yes. right? So these three guys takes wickets. So we thought at least we play more spinners <laughs> and get there. So I end up with bowling. Start with uh, uh, first he bowled and three overs I started, and I end up with bowling till. When they declared 600 runs, declared second day afternoon, but continuously one end I had pulled. So like that, the, those years. You were talking about the Bangalore hammering, I remember 952 as well. We all remember that, right? 340 on Sidon City on this side. I don't know. Let's not go into those memories. Let's come into some, some fun stuff for us. Since you've been so honest, one question has gone out of the window. You said, sir, are you better than Lara? So that's done. Who was the opposition that you found the easiest to bowl to? Because I remember England also 9 for something, 84 or, but easiest. Now, honestly, sir, easiest opposition that I'll get them. Mohamed Yusuf. Oh, really? Oh, as a batsman? No, as a full team, I'm saying. A whole team. Full, full team was the, who could not pick you and they were always scared. One guy or? No, whole team. Which whole team, team that was, you felt? See, I can't tell one. Two teams were very uh, didn't play England and uh, South Africa. England, ah, ah, ah. yes, South Africa. Darren Cullinan, I remember, poor, poor, poor chap. Easiest opposition for you to smash, and we are here in India. You can say anything you want, sir. <laughs> Easiest opposition for you to smash as a batsman. There's no easy opposition for. <laughs> <laughs> no, but as, as as a bowler, Sarat sir, right now you said you didn't feel bad for anybody, so you can say that opposition. Or an opposition? I always go after Venkatesh. Oh! <laughs> Venkatesh Prasad, huh? Yes. <laughs> right. Okay. This game is called First Time, Last Time, okay? First time, and this is a jogging your memory. First time you all wore the national jersey. Sachin, sir. 16th of November 1989. Yes. Beautiful. Sir, first time you wore the national jersey. 15th. Fifth. First time you were the national jersey. I'm getting confused. <laughs> I know the match, but I know that I don't know the date because against Australia 1992. Okay. Uh, in Katarama, the first time I won uh, national jersey for test match because one day, of course, uh, 1991. Yes. Sanat sir, you remember? ODI game, uh, Boxing Day in Australia. Yeah. 1989. That's correct. But we saw the Marauder much later. Okay. Uh, first time you got Sachin sir out, 
It took many years. You remember the match? I can't, first time. Yeah. First time he didn't give him a chance because he was hitting me every time. <laughs> <laughs> I bowled in 90, actually it's 90, so, in 1993 maybe once I would no, have... No, 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 no. It, it happened in a one day in Colombo. 1997 when he got him out in one so, day. So that means you see five years he smashed me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got him out at all. <laughs> you got him. You got him a few times after that as well. But of course, yes. Okay. Uh, first big match when the three of you all played. Which one was that? You know, when all three of you all were part of the teams. I can remember that. Yes, can. sir. When according to me, 1994. 94. When they came to India. Yeah. Yeah. 93. That is. 93, 94, 93, 93, 94 season. We played, we played in uh, Lucknow, uh, uh, Ahmedabad and Bangalore. Yeah. yeah, that was the first time you all, yeah. all, all of them were on stage. All right. Okay, the last time you all picked up cricket gear in a ground to play. Last, last time we got cricket gear, but the bat, ball, in, helmet. In international in. match or normal? No, any, any time. Now, the, nowadays you have so many other matches. Last the, time we picked. The legends match also. You are <laughs> okay, no, match? no, 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 for me, 2011 World Cup. Uh, <laughs> so disappointing, but yes. good for him. <laughs> very good for us, sir. <laughs> we were very happy. We got the 96 revenge. Last time, Sachin, sir, of course, we all... Mumbai in yes. 2013. Do you miss opening with him? You all had a very brief stint when you all opened for Mumbai Indians, the two of you all. Was that like a... Was it fun for the two of you all to be... No, I loved it. I loved it because yeah. I told him... <laughs> if you see, you hit. Yeah. You just back your instincts and go for it. Yeah. We, uh, the, first, the first few games I missed out because I was not fit. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I think half the season was already done in the first season. So seven matches I missed and then later on I joined him. And I enjoyed. I've, I've always enjoyed when we were playing together, when he was batting against India. I was constantly thinking that he out kaise kare hai, nahi, match ho yeah. But I enjoyed batting with him. Loved it. And of course, did you did you have like this aggressor and pacifier equation with your uh, you know uh, the other partners? You know, main, uh, so in Hindi we'll say, marunga to ruk ja. well, I'll hit and you stay. You know, did, did you do that role playing ever as a batsman? That's what Sachin always says. You just go and hit the ball. He yep. was looking at from the other end. Yeah. But it was good because you got a lot of confidence. I know that somebody is there to hold from one end. So I can, you, you get more relaxed. You, get, you can hit the ball well. And uh, you, you can play your natural game. So that, that's the confidence I got with him. Now, everyone knows Murli sir as a bowler. But sir, you know, your highest test score is against who? India. Yes! <laughs> That's Morley sir, highest test score is 67 against count. India with India. five sixes <laughs> and three fours. <laughs> <laughs> so, since you mentioned Harbhajan, Harbhajan Singh used to love batting and he used to think that, I remember this was an interview with me, he said on radio, he said, Sachin Baji bhoat maarte, Sachin sir bhoat maarte, lekin mere ko bhi balla do, I'll also show you, I can also hit the ball. Now, you, you're similar, you hit a lot of sixes in your career also. What was it with you and batting? You, did you enjoy it or just, nah, I'll just go and see. No, because first thing is, uh, I don't want to get hurt first, <laughs> right? I will have a love it. And if a batsman there, then I will somehow hold it. Because if a tail ender there, just go and slog it. Yeah. That's it, because no point wasting your time, because you try to get some runs, added runs, or just get out and get, get, get on with the game. But did a big six, did you get like the kind of reception in the dressing room when you hit a big six, and you go in there and you're walking with your chest a little higher? E even though he can't bat, he yes. is coaching betting. <laughs> 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 he can coach. <laughs> no, not because of the coaching, you see. See, they put a lot of pressure to me. When you go into the walk into the team, you have to take all the wickets. Yes. That's your responsibility. Yes. Then I said, I need some runs. <laughs> because other person will come in. So more, more runs, that's why I put a little bit of pressure on them as well. Yeah. If you try to declare uh, an inning, He'll never let, let captain to do the declaration. <laughs> he need 500 runs <laughs> lead to declare. <laughs> I think this is incredible. Uh, gentlemen, you've been such sports over here. A big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. This was gold. <laughs> just some final words before we call uh, a lot more people to do lovely photo ops. Sachin sir, uh, you know, just your words about the man. 
and actually both the men standing on either side of you, they've been uh, stalwarts for all of us. And uh, very rarely, like I said, do we have three legends on stage. Just some closing words about the two gentlemen with us. No, I'm so happy that I'm able to spend time with them. And, and, the, and the best part is, you know, after so many years, we continue being good friends. We enjoy each other's company. And today, we are uh, at this special occasion where your biopic is uh, released. The trailer is released. And, and uh, I'm sure everyone is going to watch the movie. So will I, and I want to wish you the very best of luck. Sanat, best wishes to your family as well, you. everyone at home. Thank you, thank you very, very much. much once again. Thank you, gentlemen. Yes. Yeah. Um, I would like to thank Sachin for coming here and uh, making sure that uh, this uh, been presented to the public. And also, Sanat is a great friend. And also, we play together same era and same time dressing room, uh, even though we are not in now playing matches, still we meet up and catch up, even with uh, Sachin sir also. Uh, we always uh, love him and also he's so humble and anytime approachable. That is the most important part. See, anytime your past cricketers approachable, that is more important because for their things also, we will stand for them. They also stand for our things. So that is the uh, greatness of uh, the the legend, the more than a legend is uh, because, uh, you know, because he's the one who carried away Indian yes. cricket for nearly about three decades. Forever, so. sir. <laughs> and he's actually the reason why I think people started watching TV and that's yeah, why yeah. TV rights have a lot to thank to Sachin Tendulkar. That's and, how it And happens. also, I'd yes. like, to, like to thank uh, Sripati director and uh, especially uh, director Venkat Prabhu because uh, everyone doesn't know because I was not interested to do these movies and everything. So I just, he just, because my wife's uh, childhood friend just visited our foundation and then came through my manager to my house to have lunch and go. At the time, just he wanted, he presented and said, we have to do this. Then I said, whatever, <laughs> that's up to you. Yeah. Then after that, Unfortunately, he couldn't do, he had a lot of busy work and everything, then Sripati did the job. So thanks Sripati, thank Venkat Prabhu sir. Uh, and also, I would like to thank all the actors and actors who done this movie. Um, thank you very much, you have done a great job and hopefully everything goes well. And also the media and everybody, uh, thank you for coming here and it's uh, uh, without you, we can't present it, so thank you, thanks, thanks a lot uh, for coming here and uh, coming to this occasion. Uh, thank you very much, and thank you. finally, thank you for you to presenting and uh, thank you, sir. making sure very comfortable yes. three of us. Thanks. Thank you. My honor. Uh, we can have some uh, pictures with the three of us. Let's just take the mics. Yes, I'll just take the mics. One second. Yes, we're doing the photo ops.